What's going on, everybody? It's Cape Line Network here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all, welcome to my next episode of my theme, Warframes. In this one, we're actually going to the CW. We're going to my favorite CW show, The Flash. Now, as you see, the Crimson Speeder, you're going to have to get a lot of similarities with this one. Now, you are going to have to buy a color pack, but we can save that for the time later. One thing I like about this, compared to my other mods, it gives you a lot more freedom of what weapons you actually want to use, because this is more of a build for your actual Warframe. It doesn't matter what weapons you use, it will all stay true to the cosplay. Alright, or roleplay, whatever you really want to call it. Okay. Now, let's get back into this. Now, the Flash, the Crimson Speeder, ga Barry Allen gained his ability from a particle accelerator explosion that was created by Dr. Wells, gave him the Flash ability as he went to fight the other metahumans let loose on the city. Color first, backstory later. Now, we're going to get into the coloring. You're going to have to buy the classic saturated um, color pack for this. Why? He's called the Scholarly Speedster, and that looks a lot, that honestly, color looks as close to Barry's um, costume as possible it actually gives a lot of the feel that you know the character is actually wearing the costume and I really love that all right now you just can um, put saturated um you know I mean classic saturated on all of them except your energy your energy is going to have to be orange now let me just say this if you think you can just get the regular classic pack and you can just use the little free orange or free red it's not going to work well with the cosplay it just doesn't this type of red is only in the saturated, orange in the saturated. Honestly, I rechanged my whole ship. I love the saturated. It's about 75 platinum. I recommend you grab it, especially if you want not only a good build, but actual useful colors in your whole Warframe gameplay. All right, now we're going to get into the mods. I noticed what you wanted to see, the mods. Now, of course, because this is Flash, we had to go for a speed boost. I mean, come on, that was obvious. If you don't have a maxed out aura, then you can't just put on a regular speed boost. Alright, now we're getting into flow and streamline. Now, because Barry's constant training with Cisco and Dr. Wells, he continuously gained enhanced ability and mildly control over his speed, which meant that he could use it efficiently during battle, and because he was just a flash in general, he had an immense supply of energy, hundred to a thousand times that of a normal human, so adding flow or prime flow on it would be just brilliant you could also so he doesn't run out of energy have a medium team energy restore which our clan genuine actually has in our tower now if you want to join the clan message master quinn long or just message me lance 34 on xbox um, one and i'll invite you well okay do i really need to talk about duration mod means the flash who has more duration than the flash with goku vegeta next we have fast deflection which ups your seal recharge rate. Remember, the Flash healed faster than most humans, well, than any human. He was able to heal a broken hand in about three hours, entirely broken hand, fractures and all. Since the rate he heals is greater than most people, you wanna have your recharge rate higher than most Warframes, just to keep the cosplay going. Okay, redirection. Now, remember Flash's suit. It did protect against a certain number of, I'll say, um, things I'll just say that for instance when dr. Cold and um, heat wave Blasted flash with the cold and heat ray at the same time it honestly didn't completely eradicate his suit It just basically burnt a little of it not to mention flash has had some run-ins with a whole lot of different Elemental powers and such from these meta humans that would normally rip a suit in half but his suit actually maintains some resilience. All right, guys, now you can use whatever weapon set you want with this, but remember, your flash speed also increases your melee. So if you have a great melee weapon, I recommend you put that in. Now we're gonna get into the gameplay. Now, if you got everything correctly, you should get something like this. Now, the main reason why I really love Volt for this, just because he matched the flash so well, each one of Volt's abilities, well, except the uh, shield, allowed him to mimic the Flash's capabilities in some type of way. Now, if you also have enemies who are given the proc that freezes your teammates, this is another great ability since you can go three times as fast as you normally would. 
they can stop you but not as much seemingly like the regular flash now as you see this is some flash type elements going on here look at the lightning now the lightning had a whitish orange type texture and I'm really glad that I captured that in this cosplay now guys by the way I know you're seeing that I actually have a um, blue symbol on my character and you're wondering what's going on with there I'll just tell you right now that's a symbolist because the next one I'm working on is going to be um, freaking zoom yes he's gonna be the next one that I work on so make sure to stay tuned for that you're gonna need a saturated color pack for that I'm gonna let you know that now I'll actually start building him later on today I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading these um, builds like I should I want to upload a build every day but in all honesty because of my shortcomings I did not um, do what I wanted to do so today I'm gonna to be uploading another build as well as early tomorrow so you're gonna be giving well I'm going to be giving you guys kind of a triple whammy of builds which is something I know you guys will love basically if you haven't already seen the first episode I didn't explain this I basically make themed builds of all your favorite TV shows anime characters and such like that and I incorporate them into Warframe matching them and their abilities as close as I can to the characters of this game now the amazing thing is because this game has such a wide variety variety of powers they can match almost close to anything and that's where the series came off of all right guys thanks again for watching you guys have been an amazing audience make sure to like comment and subscribe for more peace out and i'll talk to you later all right now zoom's gonna be next but will he be next do you guys want somebody else put in the comments if you do i'm gonna hear what you guys have to say if you're wondering what i'm doing right now i'm on void yes i'm on like 51 minutes jesus it is hell again here it really is <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Peace out, and talk to y'all later. Oh, and by the way, if people were wondering, yes, the CW Flash can shoot lightning. He can throw lightning. He basically runs around in the area, uh, challenges it through him, and throws at him. He did it on the Sand Demon. Uh, what else did he do? It on? I believe it was just a Sand Demon because Jay Garrett was teaching him how to do it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Peace out. Talk to y'all later.